Hello, this is Cho of the Shiny Colors Discord. Welcome to another episode of The Shiny Review. Sorry I couldn't get this one out a little earlier. I've actually been out of town, like, most of the banner cycle. And so I really only had today, since the banner ends today, to record this. So, I will do my best to make this as brief as possible and get this up as soon as possible, so that way it's beneficial for you before the banner goes away. Otherwise, you can treat this as an addendum, so that the next time Parallel Collection comes around, if you happen to get either of these cards, you know what you can and possibly will be able to do with them. We've got two cards to talk about, the new Produce SSR for Chiyuki, as well as the new Produce SSR for Fuyuko as part of Parallel Collection. Remember that these cards are technically limited, they will only come around when Parallel Collection is available. And they are only available on said banners, but at a very low rate when they are not on pickup. So it'll be pretty hard to get future copies, but the possibility is always there. Just like the last two, these cards appear to be about two to three-ish years in a possible future. And this time we're looking at characters that have, well, one has advanced a bit in the agency and the other one is in a completely different industry. So let's go ahead and talk about the card starting with Chiyuki, who is a pure dance unit. Her initial appeal is a dance 4.0 that applies a mental 5% regen for two turns and a 25% dance buff for three turns. The link appeal is a memory gauge 20% up. The upgraded version of the appeal is a dance 5.0 and a mental 5% regen for two turns and a 50% dance buff for three turns and also grants one mulligan and links into the same memory gauge 20% up. She has three major passives. At one star, she unlocks a dance 60% up passive that's turned to her earlier, has a 35% chance to activate once. Her two-star passive is a dance 120% up that requires all of Alstromeria and for it to be turned three or later, and it has a 30% chance to activate twice. Finally, her rainbow passive is a dance 180% up that requires eight or more heal instances in the run, and it has a 40% chance to activate twice once per turn. So that way, just in case there are two passives with the same name, only one of those can activate per turn. She also has a total dance 450 stat on cap. Her memory appeal when maxed out is a dance 3.0 that scales based on how high your current mental is, and links into a dance 3.5 that scales based on how many times you've healed in the run. Also because she is a parallel collection unit, she also has the charge appeal, which is unlocked and improved with each additional copy of the card you get. Her initial charge appeal is a dance 1.0, and as you unlock more copies of her and upgrade her memory level, you can raise this up to a dance 2.5. Just remember that you need to have both the uncaps as well as the memory level in order to improve your charge appeal, so you can't just have a level 5, you also have to have a level 5 4 star card for the dance 2.5. If you say have a 1 star Chiyuki, the most you can get is the dance 1.25 at level 2 memory. Chiyuki is a pretty solid card overall and is mostly carried by her passives and the charge appeal. The appeals themselves aren't terrible, but really you only care about the 4-star appeal because of how much it offers in terms of utility. And the potential mulligan is also helpful as well to set up for some big plays. Only having 4 healing instances out of her appeals and none on her passives makes her requirement for 8 a little rough, but Alstromeria is absolutely no stranger to healing, so... It's not something that is immediately problematic, but it does mean that this card does need additional support to really get going. The charge appeal is exactly what you'd expect, because it's more or less the same of what we've seen of the past cards, making it very good for a dance Alstromeria, or any variant of Alstromeria that wants to try to use the dance appeal. I would say as a unit, she's a B plus to an A, probably S to S plus as a center. The damage on her memory appeal is actually really high, and if you are able to factor in a max version of the charge appeal, that is a lot of damage to be swinging at one judge at once. So next then, we have Fuyuko, who is also a dance unit this time around. Fuyuko's initial appeal is a dance 4.0 that fortifies your dance buffs, grants a 20% dance buff for 4 turns, and a 15% dance buff for 5 turns. The plus appeal, which requires the full Stray Light lineup, and for it to be turn 1, grants a dance 10% buff for 5 turns. The 4-star version of the appeal is a dance 5.0 that fortifies your dance buffs, grants a 40% dance buff for 4 turns, and a 30% dance buff for 5 turns. The plus appeal requires 3 or more active dance up buffs to grant you a dance 50% buff for 5 turns, and duets randomly with Stray Light. For her passives, she has the same 1-star passive as Chiyuki, a dance 60% up if it's turned to her earlier, 35% chance to activate once. 
Her two-star passive is a dance 120% up if you have three or more active dance up buffs. This has a 30% chance to activate twice. Her four-star rainbow passive is a dance 160% up if you have six or more active dance up buffs, 30% chance to activate twice, and is limited to once per turn. She also has the total dance plus 450 uncap. Her memory appeal when maxed out is a dance 2.5 that fortifies your dance buffs that links into an additional dance 2.5 that fortifies your dance buffs. The charge appeal, just like everybody else, starts at a 1.0 and gradually upgrades to a 2.5 when fully uncapped. Huyuko has the potential to be very good. Being able to stack up a handy number of dance buffs with good duration along with every skill of hers fortifying buffs means she can snowball pretty easily, honestly. There's a non-zero chance this card reinvigorates Dance Straylight with some kind of silly scaling shenanigans, and I kind of look forward to seeing how people decide to build around this card. I don't think that she's necessarily, like, the most important piece of Dance Straylight right now, but I do think that she's a really fun way to approach the team. Whether or not that's good remains to be seen. I'm going to give this unit an A+, and push her probably to an A+, to S- center. I do think that there is a little bit of hang-up of her appeals just doing buff fortification, meaning that you already have to have a plethora of them. So the lower multiplier is not necessarily that bad, but there are absolutely points where her memory appeal can technically fall off, whereas compared to Chiyuki, it's a lot easier to keep Chiyuki's at a very stable point where it's always going to be doing its max damage. This one has some opportunities to potentially not do a whole lot, but when set up properly, real good. So, that will do it for the video today. Again, sorry for the delay on this one. If I had just been home a little bit earlier, but that wasn't exactly going to be in the cards, then this video could have come out a bit earlier. So, next time we get to look forward to whatever happens next, which, considering the teaser, seems like we have our June Bride of the Month. So, let's look forward to that together. Till then, I've been Cho. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.